What's up, lifelong learners? It is your boy, Mr. Hang, and today we are going to be talking about accessories. I can read. I'm a math major, but I can read. <laughs> Since 2006, I've been teaching high school kids how to transform their lives through education. So, consider subscribing and join the mission to make the hood all good. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about accessories, especially mounts for the GoPro 7, Osmo Action, and GoPro 8. I know, gear acquisition syndrome to the max, but I actually like really small cameras because I'm moving away from big cameras. In this box right here, which is linked in the description below, help me out by buying through the links. Thank you very much. And honestly, this video is made for my friend, TLDR Filmmaker. Go subscribe to his channel. Coolest dude. I met him at NAB last year and I really support his channel and what he does. Let's get into what is in the box. What is in the box is this thing right here. It's an extension. So. If you need to beat somebody, no, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. If you need to extend, this is what you use. Bam, that's what's in the box. What else is in the box? Don't think this is a ball head. This is not a ball head, okay? This is only like 90 degrees and it spins, but it's not a ball head, all right? I'll show you what a ball head is in a little bit. And then you have this thing right here. It is the basic mount adapter that has a quarter inch. Let me just, right there, you can do it, okay? That quarter inch is my favorite mount type. I hate sticks like this that have this type of mount. The reason why is because I rather have a quarter inch and I can just do this. And it's easier for me to do that than to screw this out and screw this back in like this. It's really annoying. It's just not my thing to do. And there are two more things that come with it and it's right here, this suction cup. Boom, GoPro 8. I got it. If I need to lock it back in, bam, right there. Poof. The best one that is my favorite is this magnetic mount. Look at this. Bam. Interesting angle. Automatic. That is what comes in this box right here. Now, what I like to add is this right here, the ball head. Now, the difference between this ball head that swivels around like so, see that? You can hit all kinds of angles with this ball head versus this that comes in the accessory box. You are not, a, see, I'm, I can't spin around. So this ball head is much better and more convenient than the one that comes in this box. So that is the extra thing that I would buy is this ball head right here to be able to attach to this thing right here, which is the GoPro mount, okay? There's one more accessory that I would buy that again, these are all linked in the description below is this small tripod thing right here. It has a quarter inch as well. So what I can do is I can just take this out, unscrew this because they're all quarter inch, and then I can put this in like this, instant vlogging setup, super small, super lightweight, extremely fun to use because I don't wanna go with big cameras. <laughs> it's just... And when I'm doing serious video work, I use my GH5. When I'm doing photography work, I use my Canon EOS RP, and when I'm trying to have fun and vlog and stuff, this, actually, this is not my go-to setup. This right here, flat out, is my go-to setup. Look at that. I can mount this anywhere and hit all kinds of angles, all kinds of interesting angles. It's just so much fun to work with this. Bam, right there. I'm able to stick this thing <laughs> right on to something metal, and I'm gonna screw this on and then uh, you guys are gonna see how I use this to get more of a creative angle. So this is the interesting angle that I'm talking about. I can place this at a lower angle than me. Okay, so now I have this other interesting angle and I'm gonna take a picture right here. Save that for later so you guys can see. The best part is I can just put this in my pocket. My pocket right here, son. Mm, I'm gonna model for you. Mm -hmm. It's right there, look. Wow, it's in the pocket, son, let's go. Look, I can walk around like this. Now, I understand that it looks extremely weird because you're like bulging out. Wait, that, that came out wrong. You guys let me know if there's any other things that maybe you would suggest, leave it in the comments down below. But for me, my favorite go-to setup is this bad boy right here, pow. And if I'm like, hey, I need an extension, check this out. I put this on like this, and then I put this on like this automatic extension. Like, 
it's so I can carry all this in like a small backpack and I'll be just happy sticking this anywhere I wouldn't do it like that it can hold it can hold this okay it's just that I haven't rigged it up right to be holding because I've done it already and uh, here's a picture All right, so I hope you enjoy and learn something new. And for me, this was really fun because I'm helping out a friend who's looking for accessories for action cameras. And I think that the, that is the direction of my channel. I think it's it's gonna go towards all the small cameras because I'm, I'm getting tired of uh, carrying large cameras around unless I'm doing serious work. Let me know what you guys think. Is this the right move for me or should I stick to all kinds of cameras? I don't know, leave it in the comments down below. I really wanna know what you guys think. So uh, I'm gonna keep it short here like me <laughs> nah <laughs> i was gonna say short and sweet like my wife my wife's a really sweet person so i'm just gonna say goodbye right now get your hands ready you know how we do it and if you're new follow along rock paper peace merch is coming son let's go